somebody ought to holler, he's my everything. I can't hit nobody, you ought to holler, he's my everything. If you know the Lord's been better to you than you can be to yourself, make some noise all over this place. Oh, come on, let it sound like pilgrim in this house tonight. If the Lord's been good to you, somebody ought to open your mouth and not just make noise, but let me hear you put a praise behind it. Come on, shake this place tonight. Shake it like the Lord been good to you. Shake it like the Lord brought you out of something. Shake it like the Lord turned some things around for you. Oh, come on, pilgrim. I need to hear you praise him better than that. Praise him like your praise is telling your testimony. I dare you. I dare you shout like in that shout is telling you that I've been to hell and back. But I'm still here. Oh, come on. I dare somebody. Open your mouth. Hallelujah. As a matter of fact, while your mouth is open, throw your hands up. Throw your head back. And give God a shout like it's your last time. Yeah, hallelujah. Glory, 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 glory. Come on. I need to hear real praise. Oh, come on, pilgrim. Let me hear you praise him. Let me hear you praise him. Let me hear you praise him. Hey, come on. Come on. Let me hear you praise him. Yeah. Glory to God. God's been good to us and we are so honored to be here tonight. Uh, grace and peace be unto you from God our Father and our Lord Jesus Christ. We are happy to be in the presence of the Lord on a Tuesday night. Amen. Welcome to Pilgrim 2019. Amen. God is good. I'm, 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 I'm going to get right in the word of God, but... Before I do that, I want to, amen, just, just take a moment, number one, and let's honor the legacy of Archbishop Roy Edward Brown. Can we do that? Oh, come on, y'all could do better than that. We are sitting in his vision, amen. All of this is what he foresaw, and we thank God, amen. Uh, I, 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 I gloat often over the fact that uh, me and Bishop Roberts, uh, we were the last two that, by his choice, he made bishops. And I am ever grateful, amen, to, come on, Archbishop Brown. And then tonight, I thank God for my spiritual father. He's a prophet. He's a father. He's a pastor. He's an archbishop. He's a husband. He's a visionary. Come on, he's a gatekeeper to this city. Can we make some good noise for my spiritual father, Archbishop William Hudson III? I honor you, I love you. I thank God for you. I thank God for you, Bishop. I'm standing here because of him, amen. And, and I'm ever grateful for all that he is in my life. And you cannot honor him and not thank God Amen for that beautiful woman that stands next to him. Not just lady, but pastor, Angela Hudson. Come on. Yes, sir. Glory to God. Amen. And we thank God for our, our board of bishops. Amen. Archbishop Shorts and amen. Archbishop Hopkins and our general secretary and just everybody, our elect ladies, our bishops, our pastors everybody lottie dotty everybody clap your hands for yourself y'all look good y'all look like y'all at convocation you got your good convocation clothes on look at you amen thank you but i tell you amen the sweetest thing in my life amen is my beautiful wife can you help me celebrate lady vivian jacobs y'all gotta make some noise for my wife now don't do that To my children, my mama is here. Wave your hand, ma. Glory to God. Amen. My brother's on the piano, the organ. He's on something. Amen. Somewhere. Amen. Thank God for him. New Zion, I know, is in the house. Yeah. Y'all sound like you're in here, New Zion. I think Hammond and Indy's in the house tonight, huh? 
Glory to God. Amen. This is what we do. Let me say, I'm getting in the word, but let me just say thank you, Pilgrim. Pilgrim, y'all been nice to me, and I thank you. I honor you. I thank God for this opportunity. All my friends is in the place. All these pastors, I, if I go to name it, I'm going to mess up and miss, miss somebody. But I'm looking at y'all, and I want to say thank you. Amen. Thank you. I love y'all. God is good. Thank you. We're going to be in 2 Kings chapter 6. Verses 1 through 7. 2 Kings chapter 6. While you are uh, turning there, whether it's your phone or your Bible, just, just lean on somebody next to you. Lean on them. Touch them in some Holy Ghost way. <laughs> come on just stay there just keep your hand on them touch them because we're, we're getting on one accord right in this moment come on come on just touch them lean on them just a little bit and while you're leaning on them just go to praying for them come on come on start praying for that person you're leaning on we're praying that God will give them a miracle this week we're praying that God will turn their life around this week. We're praying that this will be their best week as of yet since 2019. We're praying that God's going to give revelation to them this week. Uh, yeah. We're praying that God's going to give them revival this week. Come on, pray for that neighbor. Come on. Come on. We're praying for a move of God this week. We're praying for the type of testimony that says eyes have not seen, ears haven't heard, neither has it entered the heart of man the great things that God's getting ready to do. Come on, lean on that neighbor and pray for a miracle. Pray for a breakthrough. Pray for signs and wonders. Come on, lean on that neighbor and pray that God would heal their body. He'll heal their mind. He'll touch their money. Come on, saints. Pray that this will be a week that will put them on the right path in the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. We thank you tonight. We praise you tonight. We honor you tonight. Lord, we just want your glory. Lord, we just want your glory. Lord, we just want your glory. We fasted for it. We prayed for it. We've consecrated for it. Send now your glory. Send now your revelation. Send now another level. Send now a shift in the greater. In the name of Jesus. Oh God, we thank you tonight. Oh God, we praise you tonight. Oh God, we honor you tonight. Let your anointing flow in this place. Let it be an all spill of glory. An all spill of the anointing. Let it flow down every row. Let it flow down every aisle. Lord, touch tonight. Let the oil get in the parking lot. Let the oil drench the streets of Chicago. Let the oil get on the altar. Let the oil get in the sound system. Let the oil get in the instruments. Oh God, we want it tonight. Send your oil. Hey, hey. Send your power. Send another level. And we'll thank you tonight. We'll praise you tonight. We'll honor you tonight. And we'll call it done. In the name of Jesus. Now if you believe it, go to clapping them hands like you know it's done. Hey, come on, clap. Hey, yes, Lord. Woo. Oh, I feel God. Hey. Oh, I feel God. Chana Yamahosha. I feel him tonight. Glory. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Ooh, I feel the Holy Ghost. Hey, hey. Yes, Lord. Hey. Yes, Lord. I don't know if you feel it, but I feel it tonight. Yes, Lord. Ooh. Anybody got an early yes? Hey. Second.
second kings chapter 6 verses 1 through 7 when you found the signified by saying jesus bible reads like this from the king james version bible it says and the sons of the prophet said unto elisha behold now the place where we dwell with thee is too straight for us let us go down we pray thee unto jordan and take thence every man a beam and let us make us a place there where we may dwell and he answered go ye and one said be content i pray thee and go with thy servants and he answered i will go so he went with them and when they came to jordan they cut down wood but as one was felling a beam the axe head fell into the water and he cried and said alas master for it was borrowed and the man of god said where fell it and he showed him the place where it fell and he cut down a stick and cast it in thither and the iron head did swim therefore said he take it up to thee and he put out his hand and he took it i want to preach from the subject tonight don't lose your cutting edge on your way to your seat look at your neighbor and say neighbor you can lose a many of things but whatever you do don't lose your cutting edge you can have your seats tonight my brothers and sisters we often say things like the anointing makes the difference but I wonder tonight how many of us really believe that the anointing really makes the difference it seems as if this present church is more concerned about being relevant than being revolutionary seems like we are more concerned with likes then we are concerned about changing lives. Seems like we're more concerned about being gifted than we are concerned about being anointed. My brothers and sisters, whatever you do tonight, please don't get it twisted. The cutting edge I'm referencing tonight is not the edge of something new. It's not the edge of something hot. It's not the edge of something stylish. No. No, that's not my assignment tonight. The, the cutting edge I'm talking about is the edge that makes things effective. It, it's being sharp in the spirit enough to be able to change the lives of those who come to church and need an encounter with the Holy Ghost. My brothers and sisters, we have become so concerned about being hot that we have made a mockery of church. We have turned the pulpit into a perverted show because we believe that being cutting edge is to cut the food. Oh, y'all don't like me tonight. I, I, I'm going to say it again. We believe that being cutting edge is to cut the fool. But I come to rebuke the devil tonight and say the devil is a liar. No, 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 no. Being cutting edge is not cutting up. It is not cutting the fool. It is not showing off. It is not working so that we can be hot on social media but are not in our own private lives. The devil is a liar. We need to be effective. We need to see some change happen in the body of Christ. Someone called me the other day and we were talking about the church. And as we were talking about the church, uh, he said to me, he said, Jacobs, I am concerned about the church. And before I could agree, I heard the Holy Ghost say to me, no, the church is okay. <laughs> Uh, he, he said Jacobs I'm concerned about the state of the church and 
before I can jump on the bandwagon to complain about where the church is right now. The Holy Ghost said, no, no, sir. The church is okay. The Holy Ghost told me. He said, don't be concerned about the church. He said, be concerned about those who are coming to the building of the church but are not in the body of Christ. Hallelujah to God. Let me say that again. We have a whole lot of people in the building but everybody in the building is not in the body. We have a whole lot of people sitting in here right now and you look good. You look churchy. You look sanctified. You look like you got it together but you can look one way on the outward but be another way in the inside. I come back to tell you amen what the prophet told Jesse when he came by his house. He said man looks at the outward appearance but God looks at the heart. Man looks at how you behave when you are in church but man is looking at your everyday lifestyle. I'm not concerned about the church. The church is all right. I'm concerned about those who think they're going and they're really not a part of the church. Those, amen, that's perpetrating. Those that's playing with God. Those that's playing with the anointing. Those that's playing with the power. Those that's one way on Sunday, but another way comes Sunday afternoon. Those that are one way when you see them at church, but there's something else when you leave. I'm concerned about those of us, amen, where I phones are so jacked up amen that if we ever left it somewhere we would have to chase it down because of what people would find amen if they ever unlock what was on the inside I'm concerned about those of us who say we are a part but we really are not a part you are a wolf 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 in sheep clothing you're a hypocrite and a perpetrator but I come back to tell you there is the real ecclesia there is the real called out ones there's the real body of Christ where you can testify I went to a meeting one night and my heart was right but the Holy Ghost You ought to rock back and holler. The Holy Ghost got a hold of me. He, he got a hold of me. He, 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 got, he really filled me. Where y'all at tonight? I, I'm not, these are not tongues I practice in the bathroom. No. He really filled me. He really got a hold of me. He really changed me. This is not something I do as extracurricular. Amen. Activity. No, but this is who I am. He really changed he really changed me. The Holy Ghost makes the difference. And for those of us who are really a part of the church, there's a change. For those of us who are really a part of the body, there's a change. For those of us who God has really gotten a hold of, we're not making excuses as to why we are the way we are he really changed me but in this current church we're more concerned about just you being gifted <laughs> but nothing never changing <laughs> we cover gifted folk y'all ain't talking <laughs> we don't want you to talk about gifted folk no 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 I'll get, get your hands off of the gifted people but can I help you tonight the gift makes one enjoyable but the anointing makes one effective uh, my brothers and sisters and somewhere along the line we have lost it we have lost it we have lost it and I begin to ask God the question how, how did we lose it and he took me to second Timothy chapter 3 and he told me this know also that in the last days perilous times shall come for men shall be lovers of their own selves covetous boasters proud blasphemers disobedient to parents unfaithful unholy without natural affection truce breakers false accusers incontent fierce despisers of those that are good traitors heady high minded traitors heady high minded traitors heady high minded traitors heady high minded traitors, heady, high -minded, traitors, heady, high -minded, traitors, heady, high -minded, 
minded, lovers of pleasures uh, more than lovers of God, uh, having a form of godliness, uh, but denying the power thereof from such turn away. For of this sort, hallelujah, are they which creep into the houses of the church uh, and lead captivity. Cap- silly women laden with sins uh, and lead them into diverse lusts uh, ever learning uh, but never coming into the knowledge of the truth. Uh, You come to Bible study, you come to Sunday school, you come to church uh, on Sunday morning. We're ever learning but we are never changing. Uh, We're living in a dangerous time. My brothers and sisters, uh, we are living in the time of Matthew 24 24 where the Bible says there shall arise a false Christ uh, and false prophets uh, who will show you great signs and wonders uh, insomuch that if it were possible they come to deceive the very elect of you. Uh, my brothers and sisters uh, we are living in a dangerous time uh, and I believe the reason we are there uh, is because we have become a product of Revelation chapter 2 verse 4. Like the church of Ephesus uh, we have lost uh, our first love. Uh, oh but I'm coming for you tonight night and my job is to call you back my job is to come get you my job is to tell you you've been here long enough my job is to pull you out of the clutch of the enemy and to let you know that there's real power waiting on you if you can have a yes lord in your belly I don't want to get too excited too soon but I dare you grab somebody tonight and just go to pulling them and tell them neighbor God is pulling you out of the clutch of the enemy and he's yanking you into greatness the devil is not after your car he's not after your house he's not after your money he is after your power but he messes with your car and he messes with your house and he messes with your money because he wants you to give up on God. He wants you to lose faith. But I dare somebody say, "Uh uh-uh, not here, not me. I ain't losing my focus. Where my church at tonight? I ain't losing my focus. Oh, come on here. I need a real church. I didn't come to play with y'all tonight. Somebody lift your hand and say, I ain't losing my focus. You can bring your best shot. But I made up in my mind. I'm going to fight the good fight of faith and I'm going to keep on believing God. Come hell or high water, I'm standing there for steadfast, unmovable, always. Somewhere along the line, we have lost our power. Being gifted with no power is like having a running car with no gas. It's like having an iron with no heat. Maybe you'll understand this. It's like having a marriage with no intimacy. We we need power. Brothers and sisters, as we delve into our text tonight, we see my brothers and sisters, Elijah and his prophets. The Bible would teach us that they were in Jericho. According to 2 Kings chapter 2, verse 5 and verse 19, the Bible says that Elijah's church was growing so large that they had got to the point where where they were, it was too small. As they were in this place, that was too small for them. We now find ourselves in the sixth chapter of the text. As we find ourselves here, the Bible says that one of the young prophets come to Elijah and when he got there, he said, "Uh, prophet, uh, you must know uh, that where we are is too small. We've outgrown this place. We can no longer be here. We, we, We need to leave here and go down there by the Jordan River because there's a lot of trees over there because of the fresh running water and we can cut down the trees and we can build us a brand new building right there prophet we we can be styling and profiling we'll have enough room to amen bring the people in so that the church can continue uh, to do what it needs to do for the kingdom of God the Bible says that they got there and while they were there 
the Bible says that the prophet went down to Jordan with them and the Bible says all of the members of the church were out there working Lord don't that sound good Pastor Barnes amen to have all the members of the church working hallelujah to God that's another sermon for another time but Tyler they were all out there working everybody had an axe some folk had a hammer and they were cutting the trees down while they were working wow they were cutting the trees down one guy was out there working he was trying to get the tree to fall to the ground he, he, he was doing real good with that accent he was swinging and he was cutting but the bible says in the swing he lost his accent oh good god in here tonight this leads me to my first point my first point tonight is don't lose your power in your swing amen ah yeah oh i'm coming for you don't don't, don't lose it in the swing can i help you tonight they didn't lose it in sin they didn't lose it doing something wrong they didn't lose it in the club they didn't lose it out there drinking y'all ain't talking they didn't lose it past the last rolling blunts no i know they, they lost it while they were working for god lost it while they were working in the church lost it while they were serving in god's house i didn't lose it in the bed of, of affliction no i lost it while i was working in the house of god i, I didn't lose it while i was out there doing stuff i wasn't supposed to be doing no i'm doing just what i'm supposed to be doing i'm coming to church i'm coming to sunday school i'm coming to bible study and i'm serving and while i'm serving y'all gonna make me preach it here tonight huh? while I'm working for God huh? I lost what I needed huh? can I get a real church in here tonight huh? I want you to take your sanctified face off huh? I want you to take your cute face off huh? I want you to take that face off that says I ain't never been through nothing huh? as long as you keep that face on huh? I didn't come to preach to you tonight huh? I want to talk to the folk huh? that say I almost left huh? while I was working for God I almost quit while I was working for God it wasn't the world that pushed me out it was serving in the church with messy crazy y'all ain't gotta like me tonight that's when I lost it I wasn't out there rolling blunts I wasn't out there messing around I wasn't out there doing wrong I lost it in the swing of serving God I lost it. I lost it in the house. I lost it. <laughs> I lost it messing with messy choir folk. I lost it. Hallelujah. Serving on the usher board with nasty ushers. I lost it. Because I forgot. I forgot. I forgot. And a lot of y'all forgot too. We forgot that just because you come to church don't mean God's done with you. We forgot that God's still working on folk. Y'all ain't got to like that. Let me talk to y'all church hurt folk. Everybody Everybody in here got a little church hurt. Uh, you ain't been in church long enough uh, till you get some church hurt. Uh, and the reason you're gonna have some church hurt uh, is because everybody in church is hurt. Uh, hallelujah to God. Uh, and hurt people uh, hurt people. Uh, and when you come to church, uh, sometimes you forget uh, after the anointing has been so high, uh, after the glory has been in the room, uh, you forget uh, that God ain't done with everybody. Uh, and Sometimes folk will walk past you and not talk to you. Huh? Folk will talk about you. Huh? They'll get on Facebook and put subliminal messages up huh? while you serving for God. Huh? Some of y'all said I should have stayed in the pew huh? and just became a pew warmer. Huh? But it wasn't until I decided huh, to join ministry huh? that I lost my crave huh? to work for God. Well, I, I dare somebody just, 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 just go to swing and this. I was, I was cutting down a tree. I was 
singing in the choir. Lord, I messed around and became a preacher. And God do that. Y'all ain't talking to me. Messed around and put a collar around my neck. Why did I do that? Messed around and put on a robe and called myself an elder. Why did I do that? I got to swinging and I lost. Yes, yes, yes. I was swinging for God and I lost what I needed. Mind in my business. Oh, I come. Can I come talk to you tonight? I was minding my business. I wasn't over there on your tree. I was on my own tree. I wasn't over that show house. I was in my own house. I wasn't over there messing with you. I was just swinging my tail in my life. Loving Jesus all by myself. Can I help you? Can I help you? My brothers and sisters, you must maintain your power even while you are serving. Oh God. Oh. Uh, I said, don't sit on me now. See, y'all was happy when I was talking about the church. But let me come talk to you and tell you, I don't care how messy church folk get. Because guess what? You messy too. Y'all don't like me. Hallelujah to God. Don't you talk about nobody talking about you. Because you got a list of folk you talked about too. Y'all ain't talking to me here. You, you need to quit talking about how hurt you are. Because there's some folk that won't come to church because you hurt them. I come to talk to everybody. I was swinging and I lost my axe head. And I come back to tell you, you can't lose it while you're serving. You can't lose it while you're working. You, you can't lose it while, while you are in the house doing what the Lord has called you to do. I, I, wish, I wish I had time. I don't have time tonight, but if I did, I would tell you that, that most theologians, uh, Bishop Rocket would suggest, uh, amen, that, that this axe head experience it, is parked in the text at a time where it kind of don't fit Bishop. Uh, and many theologians believe uh, uh, that, that, the, that the loss of the axe head uh, speaks to what the prophet Elijah was going through in his own personal life. Uh, uh, because you can't get into chapter 6 uh, unless you get into chapter 5 uh, I ain't got time to deal with it like I want to uh, but in chapter 5 uh, uh, the prophet Elijah had just went to or better yet Naaman had just came to the prophet Elijah's house the Bible says he told Naaman go dip 7 times uh, Naaman dip 7 times uh, uh, but that don't mean that I ain't trying to talk about Naaman uh, I want to go a little deep in the text uh, the Bible says uh, he had an adjutant uh, that was serving with him. Hallelujah to God. He trusted this adjutant. He trusted this man of God. He trusted the one who was working with him. He depended on him. He was leaning on him. And the Bible says that he told Naaman, he said, Naaman, you ain't got to pay me nothing. That miracle was on God. Hallelujah. He went on about his way. Naaman finally trusted the Lord and dipped in the river. While he dipped in the river, said, Seven times uh, Elijah was going on about his business. Uh, while he was going on about his business, uh, Naaman came running uh, after the prophet. Uh, the prophet had just told him uh, that that miracle, uh, hallelujah, was on God. Uh, oh, but that old dirty Gehazi, uh, when Naaman was running back after him, uh, he ran back to Naaman uh, and he said, Hey, Naaman, uh, I know what he told you, but he changed his mind. Uh, he said, You can go ahead and so uh, into that miracle uh, give me everything you have uh, and he let he let he let Naaman bless him uh, and he took it for himself uh, the Bible says they went on about their way uh, Elijah asked Gehazi 
where have you been he said prophet I ain't been nowhere he said I ain't doing nothing he said don't you know that I'm your spiritual father he said don't you know when you went my spirit went with thee he said don't you know I sent you I'm deceptive let's talk about real church hurt y'all may sit on me when I go here but some of the greatest church hurt ain't in the pew some of the greatest church hurt is in the pulpit we try to trust folk and depend on people and lean on people and think you're going to walk in our mantle only for you to turn your back And when you get into the sixth chapter, they suggest that the reason the prophet wanted to stay at Jericho and not go to Jordan is because he was tired. He was discouraged. I'm working for God. I'm serving the people. And they keep on betraying me. Oh, I come to work tonight. I'm, I'm working in the house and I, I'm, trying to, I'm trying to pass mantles. I, I'm trying to put my spirit on people. I'm trying to trust people with the anointing that's on my life. But as soon as I give them a little leeway, they turn around and betray me. And sometimes I, I just don't want to do nothing else. I don't want to go to Jordan. I'm, I'm tired of y'all here at Jericho. I, I don't want to go. I, I, I want to I wanna stay right here. Uh, and they suggest uh, that this chapter 6 uh, is only painting a picture of where Elijah was. Uh, but I come back to talk to some Elijahs tonight. Uh, and I come back to tell you, uh, you keep on swinging. Uh, oh, come on here. Uh, I come back to tell an Elijah, uh, you keep on swinging. Uh, oh, help me there. Uh, I need somebody to look at your past. And to look at some leaders across this room, and he went to look at your neighbor next to you and tell them, neighbor, whatever you do, you better keep on swinging. Tell them you can't quit right here. Tell them you can't throw in the towel right here. Tell them who cares if folks betray you? They didn't call you, God did. Come on, look your neighbor in the face and tell them, keep swinging. Tell them, keep swinging. Tell them, keep swinging. Tell them, swing. And swing again. Swing. And so y'all ain't coming to help me preach. I said find somebody. And tell them whatever you do. Don't stop swinging. Until God brings you a breakthrough. I got to close here. Watch this. Watch this. My brothers and sisters. Not only is he saying don't lose. Your power in your swing. But many times, the reason we lose our power and our swing, secondly, is because we lift ourselves beyond our source. <laughs> the Bible says, Pastor, he like lady, he, he was swinging. And as he was swinging, he lost it. Then he says to the prophet, I can't lose this because it wasn't mine. <laughs> Oh, good God here. Hallelujah. I can't lose this because what I've been using this whole time was borrowed. How glory to God. I got to close it. I feel a breakthrough coming in this house like never before. I got to close. But I need you to look at somebody and say, hey, you. Look at them and say, hey, you. You better not forget the power you got. It ain't yours. Come on, look at them and tell them the anointing on your life it ain't yours come on look at him and tell him the gift you got it ain't yours tell him everything you got God gave it to oh I need a 
church here. Hallelujah to God. Ain't nothing you own this. And how dare you ever get to the point where you get so arrogant, where you think everything you got, you got it on your own. Or your mama gave it to you. Or you got it because it's in your bloodline. Do you know how many gifts skipped over people? The reason you got your gift, the reason you got your power is because God gave it to you. But if you ever get too arrogant and you start swinging beyond your help, God has an easy way of showing you that what you got ain't yours. It was borrowed. Hallelujah to God. I need somebody who can praise him right here because you can recognize everything I got he gave it. The power on my life he gave it. The anointing on my life he gave it. Oh, I need somebody who said I ain't crazy. If it had not been Oh, I'm waiting on you. I'm waiting on you. I'm waiting on you. I need to find about three people and tell them, don't you ever lift yourself beyond your source. Don't you ever forget where it comes from. Don't you forever get how you got it. I need you to tell somebody it was the Lord who was good enough to you, who looked beyond your fault, who looked beyond your craziness, who looked beyond your nasty attitude, who looked beyond your nasty disposition. And even though you don't deserve it, it was the grace and mercy of God that put that power and that oil on your life. I just need about 500 crazy people to open your mouth and go to screaming because you know God gave it. You know God gave it to you. I got to close here, but I can't close tonight until you do me a favor and grab your neighbor. Grab your neighbor. Grab your neighbor by the hand and tell him, neighbor, I'm grabbing your hand tonight because you might have came in here. And when you came in here, you might have forgotten who your source was. But tell them, neighbor, I'm, I'm so glad tonight that you're sitting next to me. Tell them, neighbor, the reason you're sitting next to me is so I can remind you that everything in your life that you got in your life, tell them, God, He gave it to you. Tell them, God, put the glory on you. Tell them, God, put it on your life and if you ever forget it you're in a dangerous place I got to close but before I close tonight I stop about to tell you that I did some research today I watched YouTube videos all day trying to figure out how does an axe head come off its handle good God tonight as I did my research one of the things that the video kept on saying is that the axe head only falls off the handle when the one who was using it wasn't careful in taking care of the axe and his head so I kept on watching and as I was watching one of the things that they kept on saying is if you want to tend to the axe head every now and again you gotta go to the store and you gotta go buy you some olive oil good God tonight you gotta go buy you some mineral oil and every now and again you gotta rub that axe head down in that oil cause when you rub it in the oil it will preserve the axe I don't know the name who I'm preaching to but I want to tell you 
if you want to preserve your power every now and again you gotta dip yourself in the oil of the Holy Ghost please please grab that neighbor hand again tell him neighbor the reason I'm grabbing your hand is not to get on your nerve but tell him neighbor I'm grabbing your hand cause we're going for a dip but tell them this time it's not in water tell them this time it's in some oil pull that name and holler Jesus I need more oil I need more oil I need more oil I need more oil on my life is there anybody here you cried enough you didn't been through enough hell you didn't have enough pain you didn't have enough issues and you made up in your mind when I leave holy convocation I'm going home with oil all on my life yes I feel God tonight I feel God squeezing the olive I feel God squeezing the oil I feel God taking you the deeper deeper places in him that's why you ain't got no oil cause you wanna serve in church but you ain't got no prayer life you wanna serve in church but you ain't doing right with him you wanna serve in church but you ain't moving in the things of God I stop by to tell you if you want more power you gotta have a personal devotion with God you gotta spend some time with God and God alone I got to close him I got to close him I got to close but before I close him I can't close till I tell you that God he's getting ready to take you in the better God he's getting ready to take you in the greater God he's getting ready to give you what you've been praying for you've been wanting more and I stop that to tell you on this week God he's getting ready to give you more if you know you got more coming you want to open your mouth you want to wave your hand you want to go to screaming because one more is coming you get more power you get more glory you get more increase you get more favor you get more from God you came in empty but you leave and I'm full you came in broken but you leave and I'm mended you came in down but he's lifting you up if you know you're being lifted you want to wave your hand and tell him thank you tell him lift me 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 Lift me to greater Lift me to better Lift me to glory Lift me to an anointing Lift me to the place Where I can get what I need If you know I'm right Open your mouth Somebody praise him Somebody lift him Somebody glorify him Cause I feel The hand of God Moving the night the night he's moving the night he's moving the night he's moving the night he's moving down every row he's moving in every church he's moving on every believer get ready for the move get ready for the glory get ready for the incarnation 
I'm closing now but before I close I got one more thing to tell you the Bible says that the axe head fell in the water the axe head fell in the water when it fell in the water the Bible says that the prophet went to Elijah when he went to Elijah he said Elijah he said I've lost a power that was not mine he said Elijah I don't know tonight how I'm going to get it back the Bible says that the prophet cut down some wood when he cut the wood down the Bible says that he took that wood and he put it in the water when he put it in the water the Bible says that the axe head went to floating as it began to float I said to myself I said Lord metal don't float I said Lord axes don't float I wanted to get real deep with it I wanted to say the wood was like the wood of Calvary I wanted to get real deep but the more I kept on reading he said you're going to get exegetical I said well God you got to give me something deep I don't know what to say as to why the axe head began to flow he said Jacob's the same thing happened in this water that happened at the Red Sea a miracle caused the Red Sea to open he said the same thing happened in this water that happened at the Jordan just a couple of verses before Naaman got in dirty water and came out healed he said the same thing happened in this water that happened Pastor Williams with the rock when Moses spoke to the rock or better yet hit the rock and water came out I said what happened God he said Jacob's it was nothing but a miracle he said when you lean on Jesus I can do for you what no other power is able to do when you lean on me I can speak to what you lost I can speak to what left your life and if it's for you I'll call it to come back to you I don't know the name who I'm preaching to but look your name in the face and say name there's some things you lost there's some things that's gone there's some things that ain't there tell them don't be worried about it because God he's getting ready to speak to it and when he speak to it what you lost is coming back what the devil stole from you is coming back what the devil robbed from you is coming back everything that's gone I hear the scripture telling me to tell you to be not dismayed whatever be your time if you hold on just a little while longer I lost it but it's coming back I dropped it but it's coming back it was gone but it's coming back the devil thought he had me but I'm getting it back if you don't mind tonight you ought to find you about five people and tell them neighbor you might have lost it but you getting it back 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 that's the wrong time they don't want it but the devil is a liar you getting it back every witch that took it gotta lose your stuff every 
warlock gotta lose your stuff every town bearer gotta lose your stuff gotta lose your healing gotta lose your money gotta lose your house gotta lose your better gotta lose your next level open your mouth and say give it back holla give it back I might have lost it but it's coming back it's coming back it's coming back. Hand of a horse. It's coming back. Hand of a horse. It's coming back. Hot of a horse. It's coming back. You want to find somebody? Wrap your arm around them. Tell them, babe, I'm getting it back. 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 I sent some spiritual warfare. The devil don't want some of y'all to get it. But the devil is a liar. I need about a hundred prayer warriors to open your mouth and get it back. I rebuke delay. I rebuke hindrance. I rebuke it. The devil is a liar. You go at home with power. You go at home with glory. You go at home better. Oh, come on, pilgrim. Open your mouth. Somebody shout. Somebody scream. Somebody holler. I'm getting it back. I'm getting it back. I'm getting it back. I'm getting it back. Come on, pilgrim. Say it. The devil is a liar. 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 The kingdom of heaven suffering violent, but the violent take by force. Open your mouth and get it back. 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 Get your mind back. Get your peace back. Get your love back. Get your grace back. Get somebody by the hand. I'm done. Get somebody by the hand. Grab that hand and squeeze it tonight. Squeeze it tonight. Squeeze it tonight. Tell him, tell him, neighbor, the enemy wanted to rob you. Oh, I feel it tonight. I feel that devil. But I rebuke that joker. You got the wrong one. Grab that hand tonight. Tell him, uh-uh. Tell him the enemy wants to rob you of getting what God has for you. Tell him the enemy wants to rob you of releasing that next level to you. But tell him, neighbor, you messed around and sat next to me. Tell him I'm your inner tell them I'm your prayer warrior tell them I'm here for you and tell the neighbor I want you to know that everything you need just floated to the top everything you're praying for it just floated to the top it was resting at the bottom but it just floated to the top it was resting in nowhere but God just pulled it to a new place in him he caught Torah. 
Nitana Monse, Nicoto Bahai, Nilana Mandos, Nilana Manso, Yata, there is, there is, there is. I just felt it release. 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 Are you ready, neighbor? It's floating to the top. When I holler Jesus, I want you to reach out and go get it and pull it back to you. Are you ready, church? Jesus! Come on, go get it. You're going to be sharper than ever. You're going to be better than ever. You're going to be stronger than ever. You're going to be more effective than ever. You're going to be greater than ever. The devil thought he had you. But he picked the wrong night. He picked the wrong preaching. He picked the wrong day. The devil is alive. You can't have my family. You can't have my mind. You can't have my power. You can't have my anointing. I suffered for this. I cried for this. I went to hell for this. And God made me a promise. He told me for I reckon that the suffering of this present time is not worthy to be compared to the glory that shall be revealed. You suffered. You lost it. You got it back. Now here come the glory. You suffered. You lost it. You got it back. Now here come the glory. You suffered. You lost it. You got it back. Now here come the glory. You suffered. You lost it. You got it back. Now here come the glory. 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 The glory on your church. The glory on your home. The glory on your marriage. The glory on your body. Here come the glory. Here come the glory. Here come the glory. There shall be glory after this. Say it. Look at it, about five people tell them there shall be glory after this. Somebody put your head back and shout. I'm getting ready to go over Mache, lift your hands. Lift them high. I swear to you, I was getting ready to come here tonight. And as I was getting ready to come here tonight, the Lord put your face before me like crazy. He said, tell her, this has been a trying season. He said, tell her, she felt like that ax tonight. She felt weak. She felt give like giving up. Yo, cold shot. She felt like throwing in the towel. She was ready to just run, just leave it all. It's just. God said you've been real uncomfortable. It's just been hard. It's just. It's just been rough. It's. It's been like you can't understand what is. What is God doing, Lord? What are you doing with me? And the Lord told me to tell you, as I was getting ready to come in tonight. He said, tell her that the season that he put you through, he said he was developing the woman of God. He's getting ready to make you. He said he's getting ready to mold you into a woman that you've never seen yourself to be. He said, I'm getting ready to take you into the levels and depths of the spirit that's getting ready to blow your natural mind. He said, tell her tonight. He said, to get joy on the inside. He said, because I'm getting ready to sharpen her axe head. I'm getting ready to sharpen her discernment. I'm getting ready to sharpen her vision. I'm getting ready to sharpen her spiritual awareness. 
wilderness. I'm getting ready to take her deeper. He said, and I'm going to use her to begin to shift that church like never before. There's been some pain. There's been some discomfort. There's been some hurt. Some stuff you know I know because me and your husband are close and we eat and we talk. But God said, tonight, tonight is your shift tonight. He said, tonight, I'm getting ready to give you a power like you ain't never had before. He said, I'm not giving it back. He said, I'm in increasing what you already got I told Okosha Pastor Hudson I need you to run and lay your hands in her belly and when you lay your hands in her belly God says I'm releasing another level of power I'm releasing another another level of increase it's getting ready to hit you like never before and as God does the work in her Bishop Rocket he's getting ready to do a work in you this is a season of a shift this is a season of a turnaround he said don't you quit he said don't you throw in the towel he said don't you run he said tell him I am with him tell him I got his back I got his front I got his side I am with him and I'm moving on him and I'm getting ready to breathe on him and I'm getting ready to release him another mantle for that church I heard the Lord say that after this whole convocation there's an increase that's going to hit your pocket there's an increase that's going to hit your church there's an increase that's going to hit your personal life where's our father bishop i want you to lay your hand here come the increase here come the increase here come the air that is oh hey shando i need somebody to shout i feel god here I feel God here. I feel God here. I feel another level coming in this place. I feel an increase coming in this place. Pastor Barnes, I'm glad you're here tonight. Lift up those hands. God said Pentecost is getting ready to hit your church like you ain't never seen it. He said if you don't want it too bad, because here it comes. He says it's starting the youth and it's swinging it up to the old. He said get ready. He said, folks, I'm going to start talking in tongues. He said, people, I'm getting ready to shift. He said, what I'm getting ready to do, what I'm getting ready to do, it's going to scare you. He said, but don't you be worried. I'm going to blow your mind. He said, by this time next year, the preacher's going to talk about you. They're going to say he didn't win another way. They're going to say he didn't lost his mind. They're going to say he went in another direction. But God said, not so. He said, I'm pulling you into greater ranks and greater depths of the Holy Ghost. Are you ready, man of God? He said, I'm going to give it to you. Are you ready? Open your mouth and holler, yes, Lord. Hey, there it is. Oh, yeah. I need everybody in this section to open your mouth and shout. Somebody shout. Somebody shout. Somebody shout. Hey, there it is. Hey, showtime. A tongue talking back to church. I'm the Bohosha. Eternal Manso. Power. Oh, come on here. Somebody get the axe head back. Somebody get the axe head back. Don't think God forgot you. There's a preacher in your belly. There's a preacher in your belly. I know you in another direction. You start looking at other things. You start putting your hands elsewhere. But the Lord told me to tell you. He said, my voice and my call is still upon you and you shall still preach you shall still declare you shall still go forth my hand is yet on you you are gonna come forth like a lion I lay my hands on you I stir 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 you somebody shout over your mouth house Somebody shouted here. I feel God. 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 I feel God.
my people, we going. We getting ready to go up in a crazy, get my power back, praise. I told Rabbi Kai, Yila na mam so. It's Pastor, I know Pastor Gray's here because I saw her. Elect Lady Gray. Is she in the building? I know she's here. She's where? I know she's in the city. Is she in the building? Elect Lady Gray? Who gonna see this? I know you're gonna see it before I do. Hallelujah. I saw her yesterday, and as she was in that line, we were standing in line checking in. I heard the Lord say that I'm getting ready to strengthen her body for another season of success. He said, I'm getting ready to strengthen her body for another season of success. She's getting ready to see with her own eyes me hit that church with power. I need somebody who believes God. I need you to open your mouth and shout all over this place. How? Shanana. How? Shake it. How? Shanana. Strengthen the legs. Strengthen the knees. Strengthen the back. Strengthen the mind. I need somebody to holler, strength God. Somebody to holler, strength God. Somebody to holler, strength God. Now put your hand in your neighbor's hand. We're getting ready to go up in Jesus. I'm getting out your way now. You're in the As you got that hand, squeeze it. And tell that neighbor, say, neighbor, in this next phrase you give God, tell the neighbor God's getting ready to increase your effectiveness for his kingdom. Tell them God's getting ready to release power unto you like you ain't never had before in your life. Hallelujah. Tell them, neighbor, I'm squeezing your hand because one could chase a thousand and two ten thousand. Say, I'm squeezing your hand. Hallelujah. Because when two or three are gathered, God's in the midst. When I holler, Jesus, I want you to go to praising with that neighbor like it's your last time. And as you go up praising, God's getting ready to release power. 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 Are you ready, church? Jesus! Jesus! Yeah. Somebody go to praising like you know it. Hey. Yonder the Mohosh. He can't have the Mohosh. Hallelujah. While you're praising, I rebuke death. I rebuke death. I rebuke death. I rebuke death. You're going to live. You're getting ready to live. You're going to live right here. You're going to live in the name of Jesus. I rebuke premature death. Life is coming. I rebuke cancer. I rebuke cancer. I rebuke cancer. You're going to live. Life is coming to our churches. 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 Life is coming. Hit it. Hit McLean. No more death. You. No more death. No more death. In New Haven. In the name of Jesus. I declare that they got to live. God's getting ready to do a new thing. He said, I swept out because I'm bringing in. 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 More people, greater people. You thought you lost some great gifts. But God said, be not dismayed because everything I took, I'm going to give you double. Everybody that I took, that died or that left, God said, get ready. Coming. I got trouble coming. No more death. No more death. No air color of my Praise him from the echo. I'm the Mohosh. He's the Mohosh. Somebody look at somebody say, No more death. No more death. No more death. No more death.
spirit released. How? Hey! Your portal answer. You turn on the no shaker. If you know your power is being released right now, somebody open your mouth and shout like you know you got it. Oh! Listen, we get ready to sow in this anointing. We get ready to sow in this next level. There's three, group of, there's three group of people that's going to sow tonight. I don't know who you are, but I'm starting this off in obedience to God. I'm starting this offering off with a $500 seed. If you're sowing that seed tonight with me, do that. There's another group of people that can sow a $250 seed. And then there's another group of people that can sow a $100 seed. Whoever you are, I want you to meet me down this aisle right now. Meet me at the front of this church. For those who sewing with me who got my wallet, some sewing 100, 500, 250, or 100. Leave my card. If you want joy, leave for it. Leave for it. If you want joy, leave for it. Leave for it. You want joy, leave for it. Leave for it. You want joy, leave for it. 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 They're coming. Oh my God, we have received a word from the Lord from the Bishop Brandon Jacobs on tonight. Listen, I'm going to give you an opportunity to sow into this word, into this powerful word of the Lord, that you will not lose your cutting edge. Many of you watching tonight, you have been ready to give up. 
you have been ready to give in but God on tonight has invigorated you and has refreshed you and you are ready to receive your cutting edge again there are three levels of sowing on tonight the three level levels of sowing on tonight but I want to pray for you some of you might be watching you might not know Jesus and the pardon of your sin you might want to come to know him on tonight I just want to say a quick prayer with you and then we'll give you the opportunity to sow they are having church out of our minds right now but father in the name of Jesus I pray for every soul watching on tonight those that do not know you we pray in the name of Jesus that they come to know you in the pardon of their sins we pray tonight is a new beginning for many on tonight we pray for the cutting edge the business owner the entrepreneur they will receive their cutting edge again tonight because of the message on tonight and so father we give you praise that it is so and it is done in Jesus name now listen I want you to sow into this into this word of the Lord I'm going to sow and I $100 seed. I'm going to give you the ways you can sow. There are three levels of sowing I want to share with you tonight. Online, you can sow a $100 seed. You can sow a $50 seed. You can sow a $25 seed or the best seed that you have. But I really believe every entrepreneur, every business owner, everybody that desires to be a business owner, you need to sow into this message. Every pastor that has been looking for God to invigorate and take your church to the next level, you need to sow into this word. How do I sow? That's what you said. You said, Bishop Woods, how do I sow? This is the way that you sow. You sow by dialing 309-285-8889 and text the word give. You're texting now 309-285-8889. The word give. I'm going to sow in faith a $100 seed. I'm going to sow in faith a $50 seed. I'm going to sow in faith a $25 seed. We have another way you can sow by going to pilgrimassemblies.org. Pilgrim Assembly org online you can sow that way listen don't miss the opportunity to receive what God has for you this word was powerful this word was life-changing this word was invigorating I want to take you back to the service in just a moment but let me give you those numbers 309 285 8889 and pilgrimassemblies.org that's texting the word give to 309 285 8889 they're praising God out of their mind. So I'm going to take you right back to the service at Pilgrim Assemblies. Meet us here tomorrow. Be here tomorrow. We have classes from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. On Thursday, we have our prayer day. On tomorrow night, the Bishop Michael Blue will be with us. And Friday night, our presiding Bishop, Archbishop William Hudson III, will be uh, delivering the official day message. You don't want to miss this. Pilgrim Assemblies, Holy Convocation 2019. Now, here are the two ways to sow, and I'm going to take you back so you can get your praise and your dance on. You can sow by texting the word GIVE to 309-285-8889, or you can go to pilgrimassemblies.org and sow that seed, 150 or 25. Let's go back into the service and get our praise on. I want to fill this line all the way to the back of this church. You said, I can't sow 500, 250, 100, but I want to sow 50. If that's you, fill this line, run in this line, run in this line. I call it a Jubilee seed. 
I call it a jubilee scene. Fill this line all the way to the back of that door. I'm showing 50 tonight. Faith is on me. Is on me. Is on me. Favor. All the way to the back of that line, to the back of that door. I want you to meet me. Get that favor seat. Favor, favor. Show Listen, the rest of you get your best seat and stand all over this place. Our debit giving is to my left, your right. Our debit giving, our credit card is to my left, your right. I want you to lift that seat high in the air, as high as you can. And I want you to holler the favor of God for greater power is on my life. Even right now, in Jesus' name, amen. Come from all over, so that seed. Come from all on over. Me, it's on me. It's on me. Favor. Favor is on Bless you, Pastor Romel Williams. It's I love on you, man. Credit card to my left, your right. If you're swiping this to my left, your right. If you're swiping this to my left, your right. You can also give through the Pilgrim app or through pilgrimassemblies.org. If you haven't given, run up here and give your best seat, whatever your best seat is. Some are giving 10, some are giving 5, some are giving 25. Run your seat up here from all over. Run it up here. Faith. Only. Yeah.